So I went on a shopping spree to Sephora and I bought all the products that I've never tried before and I'm gonna let you guys know if they're really worth it or if they're trash. Let's get into it. The first brand that I'm excited to try is The Inky List. You guys, I think, love this brand. I get a lot of comments about it, but somehow I've genuinely never tried any of it. First up is The Oat Cleansing Balm. I've heard fantastic things about this. It's very viral and I think it could be a really good option for my skin type because I have sensitive dry skin and anything with oat in it is good for sensitive skin. Oh, look at that, yeah. Best for normal or sensitive skin. I didn't even read it. Let's open it up. Is this like a newer brand? Like I didn't hear about it until kind of recently. Love her like clean packaging, it's super cute. Let's open her up. So I'm gonna be rating all the products with a yes or no mm -hmm. if I think you should spend your money on them. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you guys my top three products overall that I bought and tried today. So make sure to stay for that. Well, I guess I need to wet my face, so. Okay, Slay, now let's give it a try. Yeah, it feels like a makeup melting balm, but it's in like a cleanser squeezy bottle. There's some little exfoliating beads in it that I'm feeling. Oh, this feels fantastic. My number one thing that I've been looking for in a cleanser recently is that it doesn't absolutely strip my skin of like everything. I feel like my cleansers have been making my skin feel so dry. So I've been like experimenting with my favorite oil-based cleansers, melting balms, but as a wise woman once said, you get the best of both worlds. Now let's wipe it off. Absolutely yes, recommend. I'm putting this in my bathroom right now and I'm gonna start using this on a daily basis. Major slay. Next up, we're gonna do the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So the lady working at Sephora gave me the hard sell on this product. She really was hyping it up, so I'm excited. She was telling me like how deeply this is gonna penetrate into my skin and if you use this before the rest of your products, it's gonna help them get up in there more. That sounds like only good things to me. I don't think we need a lot because it is a small bottle, so I think it's very like potent. I need all all the hydration I can get. No burning, feels plumping. Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum is a yes. Next up, we have the Peptide Moisturizer. I've also been on a hunt for the perfect moisturizer and I don't think I found it yet. So this is best for dry skin, helps reduce visible signs of aging. Well, that's good because I don't want to age ever. Let's open it up, see what texture we're getting here. This one is feeling a little heavier than a water cream, but it's feeling like very skin barrier protective. Wait, am I like? A stan of the inky list? Hold on. Guys, I look good. Everyone comment tell me I look good. Also, wait, I don't think I showed you. Look at my top. It's a corset, but if you look closer, it's all cat faces. I'm literally dead. This is my favorite shirt. Bro, can I really rate everything a yes? Because this is also a yes. My last product from the inky list, this is the Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. Cutesy little packaging. Let's open it up. This one feels a little thicker than the previous, but very, very, very similar. I think between the two moisturizers, I prefer the peptide moisturizer, but this one is also great. It just feels slightly heavier. Overall, I'm highly obsessed with the Inky List and I will be incorporating these into my personal skincare routine. Next up, we have Laneige. So I've used their little pot lip night masks, but I've never used the glowy lip balm, which I think is like pretty much the same thing, but just in tube form. And I got the pink one. Here's what she looks like, even though I'm sure all of you probably already own this and I'm just like behind the times. Now let's try it out. Oh my God, the flavor's crazy. Wow, it tastes like a gummy worm, but with no calories, so I love. Definitely not necessary, but also definitely fun. So I'm gonna say up to you. Now the other product I got from Laneige is the Cream Skin Cera Peptide Toner and Moisturizer. I started using moisturizing toners like recently, so we're gonna see how this is. Here's what she looks like. All right, we're gonna give it a little pump. Oh my God, hold on. It feels like I, I've never had a drink of water in my life and I just tried a glass. Like this is insane. This is a yes. This is a hard yes. Now we got Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. Now I'm pretty sure this was like very expensive. Hold on, let me look. She was $82 just for herself, which is kind of crazy. The amount of recommendations this had online is like unreal. Everybody's talking about this serum. I fear my skin is gonna be better than it ever has been before. Oh, it smells like perfume. Very, very, very fragrancy. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. I feel like there are similar products, maybe for cheaper without the fragrance, but I mean, everyone online says it's so good. But I don't know if this would be a perfect fit for you guys, so I might say pass, but I am gonna use it because I 
because I bought it. Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Clinically tested to retain the skin's moisture. Here's what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna scrape it off the lid because we don't wanna waste any. Feels very thick. It feels pretty comparable to those Inky List moisturizers. Maybe like a little, a little thicker. She smells like she's got like a little fragrance or two in there. It's not that strong. I like that. I'm not one to think that an eye cream is like super duper necessary. I think you can usually use your moisturizer under your eyes as well, but this feels really good and I'm gonna use it because I have it, but do you have to buy it? I would say no. But if you love a good eye cream, this is probably one of the best that I've ever tried. The next brand that I've never tried is Innisfree. This is a really popular brand that a lot of y'all have been using and I haven't gotten around to it. So I bought all of the most viral products from the brand to try out. First up is the Green Tea Amino Acid Cleansing Oil. So let me like wet my face with this and let's try it out. It smells like green apples kind of. Yeah, I mean low key that feels pretty nice. I think it could be really good as like a double cleanser if you started with that inky list oat cleansing balm first because it's kind of like a melting balm and then follow it up with this oil based cleanser you'd be hydrated house down boots i'm gonna say yes to this this is the green tea seed hyaluronic facial serum oh the packaging is giving us expensive this packaging is really cool actually it feels more watery than the serum from the inky list that was also hyaluronic acid i mean it feels okay i don't know why my gut's telling me that you guys don't need this though yeah i'm not gonna lie after i just put on that serum my skin is feeling like a little itchy which is not a great sign green tea seed hyaluronic cream so this is our face cream what the heck it was like a piece of paper that i accidentally pushed into there and now i can't get it out oh my god are you kidding me? Looks like we're using a lot of serum today. Feels pretty thick, pretty good. I have a ton of it. Oh, I'm kind of glowing. Okay, I actually like that a lot, so I'm gonna say yes. Last from Innisfree is the SPF, and I've heard great things about this SPF. This one was very popular online. Here's what she looks like, and I'm always down to find a new sunscreen that I like. Smells very sunscreeny. I think it blended in pretty good, though. I only did half of my face so that we could see if there was a white cast. It looks pretty good. This one is a yes for me. Tower 28 Rescue Spray. You guys are probably thinking, Sydney, I've literally seen you use this. I've only ever had the mini one. I've never had the big one. So I just wanted to get extra because I used all of mine. And I've been loving this. So this has hypochlorous acid in it, which is good for killing bad bacteria on your skin. So people say to spray this like, after the gym or if you were sweating or you know when your face could be dirty and it apparently really helps with breakouts and i've honestly noticed a difference and i like this but mario badescu just came out with a repairing facial spray with hypochlorous acid which is kind of similar version to this and this is almost gone it literally came out a couple weeks ago and it's almost gone and i'm probably gonna have to re-get it i might like this one better than the tower 28 which is like really controversial but i just wanted to let you guys know that they have options highly recommend also highly recommend the Glow Recipe Hue Drops. I've actually never used these. This is kind of like the Glow Recipe dupe for the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. I already have a lot of product on my face, so I'm not gonna mix it with anything. We're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, it smells the same as the Watermelon Dew Drops, which is like, love her. I like that. I feel like it's a little less potent than the Drunk Elephant ones, which is not a bad thing because you mix the Drunk Elephant ones with something else. But this, I feel like you could kind of just put on and it would be fine. Yes to this. Also a lot cheaper than Drunk Elephant, so iconic. Okay, next up, Beauty of Joseon, and this is a Korean brand. I didn't just buy this clearly, but these are pretty new products from them as well. I already owned their ginseng and retinol eye cream, and usually with eye creams, I feel like you can't tell a difference at all, but if you put this on at night and then wake up, I feel like my eyes are definitely brighter. So this is a yes from me. The Glow Replenishing Rice Milk Toner feels very similar to that Laneige Hydrating Toner, and I am obsessed with this. I highly recommend this, I would say yes. And I've also been loving the Ground Rice and Honey Glow Mask. Also recommend this for fun, but it's not necessary. Now this is Sunday Riley. So much crap from Sunday Riley was sold out when I went to Sephora, but this was the most popular one that I found online. And this is the CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum. And I feel like y'all love a good vitamin C serum. Oh my God, why is the packaging like so professional? Pretty sure this was expensive. I'm not like huge, huge on vitamin C serums. I mean, low 
low-key it feels pretty good. I started out as a hater, but I would say this one is a possible yes. And now this one I'm pretty sure was expensive house down boot. I could be lying though. I really don't remember because I'm trying to block out the trauma of spending money at Sephora. Dr. Dennis Gross peeling serum. Alpha beta peel. That sounds like really intense. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. There's like sheets. We open it up. Yeah, it's just a little square wipe. Oh my god. It smells like rubbing alcohol. You can feel it tingling. Now this does look a little dirty now, but I did have the bronzy drops still kind of on my face. Now let's open up the second pouch. I'm like scared to mix them because I feel like it's going to be like a chemical reaction. It's going to like make me explode or something, but this is like really fun. All right, it's feeling spicy for sure. Okay, I think this peel is actually super cool and I would say yes. I think this is fun and also if it wanted an award, it must be iconic, right? I don't know. Next brand I'm gonna be trying is Youth to the People. First up, we're gonna use the 15% vitamin C plus caffeine energy serum. Oh, it came with instructions? Okay. Like, look how cute and official their bottles look. Interesting smell. This also gives me the energy of one I would have to test out for a while to know how I really feel about it, but I think it's leaning toward pretty good. Next, we have the Super Berry Hydrating Glow Dream Oil. Here's what the box looks like. So I've recently been getting back into facial oils. I've been using the Marula Oil from Drunk Elephant. So I'm curious to see how this is. Look how freaking cute the bottles are. And it's like glass. Ooh, wow. No, I'm obsessed with this and would highly, highly, highly recommend. So I really went ham in the Dr. Jar sheet mask section because these are so beyond mega viral. I feel like all of the skincare girlies be loving these masks. And I actually got a little too excited and I did use this one last night. I left it on my face for like literally an hour because I was obsessed with it. It stayed cold on my face for literally an hour. No idea how. I'll pop up a picture of me with the blue rubber mask on over here because that's the like viral 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 one and then here's what we look like with this one. Oh, I'm really getting into sheet masks. I highly recommend trying out one of these masks if you haven't. They're so cool and they really, really, really work. Now this one is the Biosense Squalane Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. This one was huge, huge, huge on the internet. So let's see if she's worth the hype. Also a glass bottle that looks really like aesthetic. Oh, it's like kind of blue. Oh, that feels fantastic as well. Oh, she's giving us everything. This is gonna be a yes for me and I'm gonna put it in the pile to take to my bathroom for after this video. Super Goop Glow Screen. I have the Super Goop like regular sunscreen, but I've never used a tinted one. So she's SPF 40 and I know that everyone and their mom loves her, but we're gonna see if she's worth the hype. Wait, why is it like literally foundation? Wait, hello? Oh, I love it. I highly recommend the Super Goop Glow Screen even though y'all probably already own it. But if you don't, you should because it's really good. Now that I've tried everything I bought, in my Sephora haul. I'm gonna tell you guys which ones are my top favorites that you might want to consider. Please like the video right now because I spent so much money on all of these products. Thank you. These are our honorable mentions. Super Goop Glow Screen. Love. Glow Recipe Hue Drops. Very good. Youth to the People Facial Oil. Love her. Biosuns Squalene Copper Peptide Serum. Now for my top five. Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Peel. I thought this was really freaking cool and it it could be a good match for you. Definitely do your research, but love her. The Mario Badescu Hypochlorous Acid Spray. I've been obsessed with this and I think you guys would love it. In third place, the Dr. Dart Rubber Face Masks. I'm obsessed with them and I'm gonna use these a lot now because I don't understand how they get it to feel cold, but it's crazy. Second place, the Laneige Hydrating Toner. This is fantastic. Definitely consider trying. And in first place, the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. Let me know in the comments if there's any other brands and products that I missed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and until next time, bye guys.